and welcome to the 6th EC Vlog. Today we are at the American Bar Association Memorial to Magna Carta at Runnymede. We are going to be showing you all around the different places on the Streams of Peace and Freedom tour. In the next couple of days we are visiting Runnymede, where we are now, Barnes, Dimmock and finally Oxford, which was where Maxwell Fife went to university. Come along with us. is the birthplace of freedom because here in 1215 this was where King John was forced to sign the Magna Carta by barons. Rights and concessions Our second stop this week on the Dreams of Peace and Freedom tour. The reason we are performing here is that when Magna Carta was sealed in 1215, Stephen Langton rode from Runnymede to St Mary's Church Barnes. And today we are performing at the old sorting office, OSO, where we have been rehearsing. Today, Saturday, we visit the Friends of Dimmock Poets in Dimmock. Via Gloucester. Rupert Brooke visited Dimmock and his most famous poem, The Soldier, or The Recruit, was published in their magazine New Numbers. Maxwell Fife quoted his war sonnet, Number 5, in his closing speech at the Nuremberg War Crimes Trials. As he had been inspired by Brooke from the age of 15, when the war sonnets were first published. Here we are outside Balliol College, which is Maxwell Fife's old college when he came to university here. As you can see, it's rather fairy tale like. And he chose to go here because it was well known for its 19th century heroes. Just 
That's it for this week. But join us again in a couple of weeks for another vlog from what we get up to here at English Cabaret. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>